As you can see, my energy levels are quite high here in Las Vegas after the Arizona Wildcats took home another Pac-12 tournament title by knocking off UCLA last night for the second time in a row. And of course, it was all celebration for the Wildcats late last night and early into this morning. What's it mean for you to be back-to-back -back Pac-12 tournament champs? I mean, there's no feeling like this, you know, and for us to do it last year and then do it again this year, it, it says a lot about our team and our coaching staff and, and, and our program. It's amazing. Uh, it's what, what I wanted to do when I came here, and I'm sure every guy that comes to Arizona, that's, that's the goal. How's it feel to sport that net behind your neck right now? Feels good, honestly. Um, I was waiting for this moment since the beginning of the season, and we, we um, we were working hard for this moment, and uh, I'm happy that the moment came. Are you gonna sleep with that net behind your neck or around your neck? Yeah, I'm gonna probably. <laughs> I'm gonna say some dumb stuff. Let's hear it. We want to hear the dumb stuff. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna sleep with this for sure. Uh, unless anybody. I uh, know I'm gonna sleep. No matter if somebody wants it, I'm gonna keep it. With the victory last night for the Arizona Wildcats, they have pretty much solidified their number two seeding in the NCAA tournament. That will be confirmed later after the selection show. And of course, they are hoping that that Pac-12 championship in the tournament can help also the seeding committee put them in the West. So a number two seed in the West isn't too shabby. Meanwhile, UCLA is still hoping that despite the loss, they can be a number one seed in the NCAA tournament.